Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm finally going to film my fall 2020 FabFitFun box for you all. And I also have the add-ons I selected and I have the BoxyCharm pop-up shop order that I placed not too long ago. So I have no affiliation with either FabFitFun or BoxyCharm, no PR, no sponsorships, anything like that. So if you're curious what a non-affiliated person thinks of the services and the products they receive, please keep watching. So I guess I should start off by saying that I had, I think, gotten one FabFitFun box before because I saw some videos or blog posts about the upcoming box and I think there was a scarf or something that I was interested in so I went ahead and uh, subscribed for that box but then I canceled. Uh, this box I had also not been subscribed up until seeing some spoilers and I decided I liked some of the items in the box and I wanted to obtain them and uh, I went ahead and purchased an annual subscription because I wanted the early access to selection of which items I wanted and also I think you got early access to the add-ons. I forget if they were on the same day or not. Uh, so I am now a an annual member, subscriber to FabFitFun, so um, hopefully the upcoming boxes uh, don't disappoint. Uh, I'm sure you've heard the spiel before. I think they are roughly $50 full price per season. Uh, so every, I think, quarter you get four boxes a year. Uh, so altogether the, I think, annual price is about 200 maybe. I'm not sure. I'm sure if you go to the FabFitFun website, they have all that information there for you. But uh, anyway, this is what the box looks like. I'm not sure if any of this information is um, specific to me, but um, there's some like numbers and a barcode. So I think like a lot of people have said, it's unfortunate that they covered up this beautiful box with this big sticker, but uh, maybe in the upcoming um, boxes they can just put it on the side um, so that people can hold it up in their thumbnail. Uh, but anyway, this is the box and I gather that this sort of natural cardboard is a more eco-friendly way of packaging that they've switched to, um, so that's always a good thing. Uh, I'm not one to, I probably won't hold on to this box for storage or anything. Um, you certainly could if you wanted to. Okay, and then there's also this magazine um, has Padma Lakshmi on it, and uh, I did watch her most recent series on Hulu, I think it was, and I really enjoyed it. So if you are interested in, if you like Padma, if you like food shows, uh, basically she goes, It's a, I think it's about immigrant culture in the U.S. and like the different food um, dishes and just food culture, I guess, of immigrants, so that she goes to different communities, um, like a different community each episode, and talks about the food specific to that culture. Um, like, I think one episode, I think she goes somewhere in the Southwest. It's been a little while since I've seen it. One episode was about, I don't know if it was Mexican immigrants, and they talked about tacos. Um, I think she went to maybe Wisconsin in one episode, and was talking about like German immigrants to that area. Uh, and then interestingly enough, they're, they're not immigrants, but she talks to, she goes to an Indian reservation and they cook like some traditional Indian dishes. So anyway, it's, it's kind of a mixture between food and I don't know, just like a documentary sort of thing. So anyway, that was a huge tangent. Okay, so the first item, the first choice was uh, the Bakir New York Trigger Backpack um, is what I selected. And um, I hadn't really heard of this brand before seeing it as an option in the FabFitFun. Um, but this was one thing that I just, I really liked the look of and was one thing that made me want to get the box. Um, it is a very small backpack, which is quite funny considering I think the tote from the same company that was another option seems to be quite large and I think a lot of people were kind of surprised by how large the tote is um, but the backpack it does seem a little small. Uh, one thing I will note is 
Uh, this is a brand I kind of looked into a little bit before signing up just because I liked it, but I wasn't sure about like the quality or anything like that. Uh, I think this might be a model, maybe specific to BoxyCharm that they made. Uh, I think this, I think this is vegan leather or faux leather. It's not, it's not actual leather. And based on looking at their website, because that was one question I had, whether this was leather or like a faux leather. And I understand for some people they may prefer a vegan or faux leather, but you know, just generally from a quality perspective, I was just curious. Uh, and I think I saw a lot of the items on their their website were made with leather, so I thought that was what I was getting. Uh, I think this is actually vegan leather, as I said, and I think I think this might have been made for BoxyCharm, is I guess what I'm trying to say. So um, it still feels pretty sturdy. Um, it has a nice nylon bottom here. Um, the zippers feel like they're good quality. Uh, it says it has a $100 value. The tote bag had a $128 value, apparently. The, the zippered pockets are a little shallow. Like that, I don't know if you can see, that's like as far down as my fingers can go. Um, so that's just one thing to note. The other one is the same. has a Pretty sure this is a magnetic um, snap closure. And then this, it looks like, is just open. There's no drawstring or anything like that. There is another little zippered compartment on the inside. Seems a little bit deeper, maybe. So I guess I like the bag. Um, I think I would have preferred it to be a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of tall. I'm around 5'10". And I will try to model this for you. So I think it's definitely big enough for like a wallet, a phone, sunglasses, um, keys, like that kind of thing. But I don't know, for an all day pack, it might not quite fit everything that you wanted to. I thought I would show you for comparison's sake, um, this is the gift with purchase that I got from Ulta during, they had some promo for, I think if you purchase $50 in fragrance. So just, make sure I'm in frame, um, just by way of comparison, and I think the Ulta one, especially for a gift with purchase, like I don't know if, I don't know if I would pay $100 for this, but I certainly, I wouldn't pay $100 for this either, but like if you were doing an all day trip, um, going to a theme park or something like that, I think I would rather take the Ulta gift with purchase. Like it has the straw string that would keep things a little bit more secure. Um, still has two zipped pockets, um, has adjustable straps. Go ahead and try this one on for you guys. So I think this, this probably suits my frame a little bit more too. And I think you could probably fit everything I just mentioned in the bot here one, plus like a water bottle, some snacks, that sort of thing. So anyway, um, I just thought I would mention in terms of evaluating what I received and I, I picked it so you know and it was something I subscribed to pick so I can't really blame uh, FabFitFun too much. All right so for the second item I selected the Beyond Yoga Hidden Pocket Infinity Scarf and this is supposed to have a $59 value. It still is in the plastic. So it has a very, it's like a soft jersey, but it still feels like kind of substantial. Like it's not, it doesn't feel too like thin and staticky. So that's nice. And it has, I guess, the Beyond Yoga logo 
Um, this was another brand I hadn't heard of before, but I gather that it is, I guess, kind of well known. Um, so this is, it says 95% uh, polyester, 5% elastane, and machine wash cold, which is great. Uh, it says tumble dry low for extended use line dry. Do not dry clean. So that, that works for me. Um, I have no problem like machine wash cold, even on the gentle cycle, anything that says hand wash is, it's just, it's never going to get washed, <laughs> much less something that's supposed to be dry cleaned. Um, and this has a pocket, um, which here is my iPhone 11 max, whatever. I think it came out last year. I can't remember. Um, but that fits very comfortably in there. You could also fit keys, lip balm, um, like a little card case or ID holder. Um, if you wanted to carry all that around your neck, um, you could fit a mask in there now that we are kind of, you know, need to have masks at all times. So I do like a good infinity scarf. I think I prefer this style of scarf to just like a standard you know, wrap around. And one thing I was wondering was, like, if I didn't want to have anything in there, would it look weird? But I think it, it looks good. It's very comfortable. You know, if you were traveling too, you could, if you felt like you were maybe going somewhere, again, insert joke that we're not traveling, but <laughs> in the future, um, I think you could fit like your passport, cards, some cash, whatever you needed to, you know, just to because I know some people wore it like those belts or whatever, but if you just wanted something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I think the only thing is trying to make it so like the logo and printing doesn't show. But yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is a win for me. And again, that was a $59 value. It says... Uh, this lightweight scarf features a hidden zipper pocket that's big enough for your phone, wallet, or lip balm. What I, my second thing I was maybe thinking of was the, I think this was in the same category, 2D. Okay, I see. So the first category is all one, and then a letter. The second category is all two, and then a letter. I was thinking about the scarf again, but I think knowing what I like to reach for, this is probably a better bet for me. So very happy to have that. Okay, so the next thing that I selected was the uh, Jenny Bird Liana Pendant. This was another thing that kind of, I guess, made me want this box. And this is supposed to be a $115 value. Comes in a nice little suede pouch. Uh, what does this say? It says a hand-formed drop delicately hangs on a stamped high polished curb chain and is layered with a box chain. Uh, so I thought this was really pretty. With the scarf and this alone, I'm well over the amount that I paid. And whether I would pay retail for those two items is a different story, but certainly for $50, I'm happy to have them. And this has some sort of plastic like protector on the actual pendant. Two hours later. Okay, so that was kind of annoying, um, but I finally got the plastic off and I'm not wearing a shirt that will kind of show this off maybe to its best advantage, but I do like to wear a lot of V-necks, so I thought this would be a pretty necklace to wear. Okay, and I, I also have it on one of the longer lengths, like it has one of those adjustable chains because I don't like things that are like too high up on my neck and kind of choky. So again, not the best shirt, um, but I think that's that's quite pretty. It's nice, it's like delicate, but it has some sparkle. So I'll just leave that on. Um, but anyway, happy to have that. Again, Not I don't think it's a brand that I've heard of. Maybe. Um, I almost want to say that, does she design like bridal wear? Not sure. 
Uh, so the next one I selected was the... Okay, so that was my third selection, I guess, was the necklace. Um, yeah, so going on to number four, I selected the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Uh, this has a $22 value, which is not the highest value item I could have selected. Um, they had a, a Mason Tops glass water bottle, for example, that was a $35 value that I was kind of tempted by. Uh, but I figured this is a product that I've used for... Oh gosh, going on 10 years maybe that I've been using this. Uh, this is my go-to brow gel on days where I just want to look groomed because uh, my my brow hairs can, like if I don't comb them up with some kind of brow gel, they just kind of look <laughs> disheveled. Uh, so it is a product that I know I use and like. And yeah, like on days like this where I'm filming or I want to look a little bit more dramatic, I uh, have the Benefit Gimme Brow, I think is my preferred tinted brow gel. I think I might have purchased the Anastasia tinted brow gel at some point, but I don't know if I've actually ever tried it. Uh, but anyway, this is just a good old standard, so I decided to stick with that. And going on to the next one, I picked the NCLA So Rich Cuticle Oil in Horchata. And um, it is a vitamin E infused cuticle and nail treatment with a delicious horchata scent. And this is supposed to be an $18 value. I haven't um, smelled this yet, I don't think. I do like a good cuticle oil, although I think I was looking at, I've been doing some dip uh, manicures lately and I think I was reading that cuticle oil is something that you should maybe avoid in favor of like a hand cream because like the cuticle oil can make your nail, make your manicure not last as long. So just some uh, food for thought. So I like it. it. It has a nice like subtle kind of pumpkin spicy cinnamon scent. A little sweet. Um, yeah, I like it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite scent ever, but um, it's definitely something I can use and enjoy. Okay, so that was my fifth selection. And I think everything else... Uh, I want to say, was it only annual members could choose their fourth and fifth selections? So that would have been the brow gel and the cuticle oil for me. And then I think everything else was just um, selected at random. So uh, for the sixth item, I got the, uh, let's see, the Laundress New York Crease Release, uh, which I haven't tried yet. Curious, it has um, plastic on the actual. So it has a nice, like, clean laundry type scent. So I think this is a, a good thing, you know, to have in your arsenal when you don't have time to, you know, steam or iron or whatever. I think I've tried a similar product from Downy or Febreze or something. So I'm happy to have that. And that retails for $16. Uh, so that, you know, happy to have that. And then the next item I got was uh, this one. So this is the Hive Tranquility Sleep Mist. Uh, this is three fluid ounce, and this retails for $22. It says formulated with witch hazel, and this is taped on the top. Uh, formulated with witch hazel lavender oil and rice water. This mist creates a tranquil sleep environment. Uh, so sometimes I use the This Works pillow spray uh, when I feel like I need some extra like relaxation. And this is something, so I don't know if you are supposed to spray it on your face. This one says, uh, Rice water is rich in minerals, antioxidants, and B and E vitamins to help purify and smooth skin. Uh, do, 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 which hazel protects skin and improves softness? It says for all skin types made in Korea. And doesn't have any kind of 
like instructions, which I find kind of odd. Oh, okay, so it does on the actual bottle. It says, before bed, mist around your pillows and sheets to create a calming sleep environment. Hold eight to 10 inches away from your face and body to relax and soothe the skin. So I guess you can do either. You can spray your sheets and pillow or you can, or you can actually spray your face, which is interesting. Just gonna spray some of the It doesn't, it doesn't have a very strong smell, to be honest. It has a nice sprayer, though, if, if you are, although I think with like a sleeping mist, you're not, it's not like a setting mist where you're worried if, if the spray is like not fine enough that it's going to disrupt your makeup. So that's interesting. I don't hate the idea of it. Um, I just don't know if it's something I would go for over like the This Works, which is I think a more potent lavender scent that you, I think the only instructions on that, hold on. Okay, so I just grabbed the um, This Works Pillow Spray. Uh, this is 2.5 fluid ounce. It says fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed. And this just says spray your pillow or bed cover. So this is not meant to be sprayed on your face. I think I got this in like an Ipsy add-on or store event, whatever. Um, I, I still think this is a stronger scent. Um, I haven't used the other one, so I can't like really tell just by spraying it in the air, but I think this is a little bit more potent. Uh, okay, so that was my seventh selection, and then the eighth um, item I received, I think this is the last item, um, I would have maybe liked to have gotten like one of the candles or there was a room spray in um, pumpkin spice or they had some pumpkin spice um like a pedicure set i think but anyway that was what i got uh, the other item was the beauty crop glow milk and blind date so it says enriched with coconut this highlighter gives you a lit within glow and this is in like a little milk kind of carton this retails for $19.50 and I need some scissors. So I guess this is a makeup product. Uh, it seems to be. So that is the color. It's in Blind Date is the shade, I guess. So it's in a little dropper. And let's just put a little bit this might be too dark for me. Uh, cheers out. If you had a tan, I feel like this would be really pretty on your body. I think it's pretty subtle for the face. Uh, so anyway, those are the items that came in my, my box and I think, you know, I definitely got my money's worth. I'm definitely happy to have um, these items. Not everything was a slam dunk, home run, et cetera, sports metaphor. But I think I got a good value for what I paid. And um, I know I'm really looking forward to the scarf, surprisingly. And um, the necklace, I think, is really beautiful. The brow gel is one of my, like, OG standbys. Uh, and the crease release, I think, is a good thing to have um, on hand. So um, those were the items in my box. And I also got some add-on items. Yeah, so I got five add-on items. And the first thing was actually a choice from the fifth set. So uh, this was something I could have selected instead of uh, the cuticle oil. Uh, so this was the... Hip Cutlery Set. It says swap your disposable utensils with this wheat straw cutlery set. It also comes in a carrying case, $14.99. And I paid $7 um, in the add-on store. So that is what that looks like. 
I don't think I've had anything made out of wheat straw before. Uh, it has one fork, one spoon, and one knife. And you just kind of press in on this to release it. And that is what they look like. They have a little um, screw tie keeping them together. So, so I hope these are durable. It says they are dishwasher safe and BPA free. Um, so I, I just thought these would be good when eventually I go back to the office and um, I have a lunch. I have some plastic cutlery in my desk, which is not great, but I figured if I had like a little like case to keep the cutlery inside so that it wasn't like I have like a little lunch bag, but if the dirty cutlery wasn't just kind of swimming around in a bag, like if it was more contained, I thought maybe I'd be better about actually using like reusable cutlery instead of plastic. Uh, so yeah, it has a nice little handle there that you could, I don't know, attach it to a backpack or something if you wanted. Um, so that was a good buy in my mind. And uh, I think I said with some other subscription boxes that sometimes the, the base subscription fee that you pay is almost like the admission price or the cover charge to, you know, getting access to the add-on stores and, and, you know, getting other things that you maybe are more interested in or that you can actually select at a discount. And, you know, that's just one way of looking at it. It's not necessarily the only kind of philosophy. Like if you aren't interested in the actual box itself and you don't value the items that you're getting, then maybe you're just throwing the money away. But anyway, that's just one way of looking at it. Uh, I also got this Grace and Stella pedicure exfoliating foot mask. And this was, oh, I told you that the color I think was like a $14.99 value and I got it for seven. So I don't know, oh, uh, this says, okay. <laughs> I just saw the manufactured date. It says October, 2019, but the expiration date is October, 2021. So that's not terrible. Uh, this I paid $5 for. And I was curious if uh, it was maybe as effective as the baby foot, which I think is like the gold standard anyway that I've tried uh, in terms of like the peeling foot masks. And uh, this was $5 and the baby foot is $25, I think, full price. So I decided to pick this up, you know, when I'm ready for my next, you know, zombie mommy type foot moment, um, <laughs> I can give this a shot. So anyway, I thought that was worth a try for $5. Uh, the next thing I have here is the Daily Concepts Your Body Towel Wrap. So this was $9 and I've gotten, I think I might have to actually cut this. Uh, I've gotten the towel wraps from Target. I think, is it like Your your Room Essentials or something is, is their brand? Uh, they always seem to come out around this time of year, um, maybe a little bit earlier during like the back to school, college shopping type um, window. Uh, but those have Velcro and sometimes if I have like a more, if I have like more silkier type underwear, like I don't want to wash the towel with Velcro with those types of garments because they can get caught on the Velcro. Um, but so this has a button. So uh, it looks like it's actually maybe a little bit expandable. Oh no, it's just a third button. So I guess you could always choose which, whether you were going to button one or all three. Like if you needed it to be a lot bigger, you could maybe just button it on the last, the last button. But anyway, it's, it's a little thin. It might be good for travel. Like I, I just like this type of wrap. Like I can never get like just a normal bath towel to stay up on me. Um, so I always look for this type of garment. So yeah, it feels a little thin, but we'll see how this kind of button closure works for me. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't really say much. It says one size fits most, 85% polyester, 15% polyamide, whatever that is. And I mean, it has like all the washing instructions, which I never can remember, but I would think it was, you know, machine wash warm with other towels will be fine. Okay, two more items. I got the Aromatherapy Deep Relax Rollerball. This is 10 mil or a third of an ounce. And I only paid $5 for this. And Aromatherapy Associates is kind of a more expensive brand. So this says it has their Deep Relax Blend, which I, I don't know if I've tried before. I know I've tried various um, minis of their various oils. Uh, this is chamomile vetiver and sandalwood ideal for travel or to fit in your purse this roller ball is the perfect way to enjoy a mindful moment wherever you are so let's let's give this a scent So I like it. I don't know if I like it as well as, I'm trying to remember what else I've, I, I, I really like their Revive blend, I think it is. But it is nice. So between this and like my various pillow sprays, I should, I should be golden for the upcoming <laughs> few months here. All right, and then the last item I have is the Sunday Riley Juno Oil. And this I paid $34 for, which is a little bit, you know, more expensive. But I think, I think the full price of this is maybe twice that. Um, and I've never tried this one before. It says nine cold-pressed vitamin-rich seed oils. And they are like blackberry seed oil, blueberry seed oil, cranberry, red raspberry, chardonnay grape, uh, wild carrot, black cumin, broccoli, and meadow foam. So I decided to finally try this because uh, if anyone used to watch Stephanie Nicole, um, she always talked about this in her like recommendations videos. I do have quite dry skin, so I like a richer oil at night sometimes and I just I always remember her talking about this and talking about how like it smelled like oregano which is kind of a funny where do I have something that's not I mean maybe a little bit not sure what I'm smelling between that and the um, aromatherapy Nothing, nothing too crazy strong though. So if, if that turned you off, um, I think if you're used to like just kind of non-fragrant essential, not essential oils, but non-fragrant face oils, or at least ones that aren't fragranced purposefully, uh, I don't think this should be a turn off. Like it, it doesn't smell anything crazy. All right, so my BoxyCharm pop-up order, or orders, I guess, um, so uh, the first thing I have to share with you is the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright 15% Clean Vitamin C Serum. Uh, I paid $29 for this and I decided to go for this partly because I think Tara Babies um, talked about this being her kind of vitamin C product of choice and uh, I've been using the Drunk Elephant one, and I've been liking that, but I think for the price, um, I decided to go ahead and try this one. Uh, so this is $62 full price, so I thought trying it for like less than half was a good deal. And I did, I think, also try or select the vitamin C eye cream that they make as my, I guess, September box choice for BoxyCharm. So... Um, I will be well stocked on the pharmacy vitamin C line um, in the coming months. All right, so the big order that I placed, this one, it was a bit frustrating because I saw that it was like at the nearest uh, distribution center to me. And then for some reason they sent it back up to like New York or New Jersey. And then finally it made its way to me, but it just seemed like it was taking a lot longer than it needed to. And... 
and the box, you know, definitely kind of went through some stuff. So um, some of the products are a little bit battered, but I think everything is still perfectly usable. Um, so the first item I'll go ahead and share with you uh, is this Corksicle uh, champagne flute. And um, if you've looked at Corksicle in the past, um, they can be a little bit pricey. So um, this was $9, which I think is less than half of what it normally retails for. And this is the, uh, it says stemless flute seven ounce color block rose. So this has like a, a kind of like groove on the side there to kind of help it be a little bit more, I don't know, help you grasp it a little bit easier. And, uh, because, <laughs> so partly because the box was in such bad shape, I was worried that, I, I thought there was a, a lid to this. And I thought because, you know, so much was going on with the transit and everything that somehow the lid had either been left out or had fallen out of the box somehow. Uh, and I looked at the website and it specifically says did not come with a lid. So I, I gather that's like a common misconception that this might have a lid to it. But I guess, I, I don't know if it's just their stemless flutes in general don't have lids. I think some brands that make a similar type product do have lids. So you know, understandable why there might be some confusion. And um, this, I already used this and I put it through the dishwasher. Um, so one of the main reasons I wanted to get this and some other ones was um, like if I want to enjoy a glass of champagne in the bath, um, sounding very bougie, um, it makes me feel a little bit better having something that's not gonna like break or shatter if I accidentally knock it over or whatever. So glad to have that. And yeah, I already took off the the sticker. This one apparently is not dishwasher safe. Uh, it says nine hours cold, three hours hot, shatterproof, easy grip size, BPA free, stainless steel. And then on the reverse, it says, um, before first use, wash with hot water and dish soap. After each use, hand wash with dish soap, store in a cabinet or dry place, not dishwasher safe. So, I mean, realistically, I'm probably gonna put it through the dishwasher anyway. Uh, I wanted to show you, this was something I was drinking out of earlier. This is the Rabbit brand of stemless insulated wine glass, and um, these aren't dishwasher safe either, but. I put them through the dishwasher. I got these in like a four pack from Costco. And I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of like kind of chipping of the coating on the top edge here. I think it's, it's mostly cosmetic, but I just wanted to mention that. And because we put those through the dishwasher, I did pick up two of the like normal wine glasses. Uh, these were, I think these were called Unicorn Glam Pain. I can't tell by looking at it if these were $12 each or $6 each. I might make a notation, but either way I thought, you know, they were a good price. Uh, so these are dishwasher safe. Um, so that's a huge plus. These ones actually have like a, like a little slider on the top for the, you know, the part where you drink out of. Um, the rabbit ones, don't. It's just like a little hole. So I guess depending on how accident prone you are or like how much you want to feel like you're drinking out of a toddler cup, you may or may not like that. So, oh, it comes with like a little corsicle sticker, which is interesting. Uh, and let's see. Okay, they just had a whole little pamphlet inside there. But yeah, the main reason I got these is because they are supposed to be dishwasher safe. And I figured, you know, just for the longevity of my wine glasses as I'm dishwashing them, um, would be good to get those. I also did get a set of two from Swig Life. Um, these are uh, 12 ounce size, as are the Corsica ones. Uh, these are in the shade Diamond White. And again, these were either nine dollars or 450 each i'll have to like figure out the math once i actually break it down but uh these have a nice pretty like iridescence to them uh also have a slider on the top 
I wasn't sure whether these would be dishwasher safe, but I'm pretty sure they are not. I, I, I decided to get two of the Corkscrew ones and two of the Swig Life ones with the intention of giving two to my sister-in-law for Christmas as part of her Christmas gift. Um, and I hadn't really figured out who was going to get what, <laughs> but I have a feeling I'm going to keep the Corkscrew ones and give her these ones. These have a very strong like silicone type container. Uh, let's see. These say they're cup holder friendly, which if you're drinking wine, you should probably not take advantage of. Spill resistant lids made for women by women. Cold up to, I don't know if these are just kind of general instructions. Yeah, these ones say cold up to nine hours, hot up to three hours. These do have straws, so if that is um, something of concern to you. They don't specifically say, I don't think, anywhere that you should either hand wash or you can dishwash them. So these ones also, like the Corsica ones, have like more of a grippy, rubbery bottom. These, to, these seem to be smooth, but they do have little like plastic straws, so if that is something that you are more interested in, you may like that brand better. All right, a couple um, skincare products I was really happy to see, or at least two of the same <laughs> skincare product. Uh, I got two of the Delicate Recovery Creams by uh, Kate Somerville. These are both 1.7 fluid ounce, which I think is the largest size. And these were each, I think these were each $24. And uh, this retails for like 80. Uh, so I was very happy to um, snap that up. And uh, like I said, the boxes are a bit kind of mangled, but um, the actual jar and the product seems to be fine. Uh, so I think this is a new release from Kate Somerville. So I grabbed the one I currently have open um, in my from my bathroom. And um, that is what it looks like. I've made a good dent. Um, it's a very rich cream and I think uh, the theory or kind of reason she created this was for people who you know have really sensitized um, skin from like a procedure like I don't know acid peel or whatever so um, if you have really dry sensitive skin um, it's a good product I think to look into especially as we're going into the winter months. Uh, I picked up that with the serum and the cleanser. Uh, they were part of the, I think, June or July like edit box that she does. She does a different kind of collection each month. Uh, so I got a good value on them from that. And then between these, um, I recently, uh, they had a deal over Labor Day weekend where you got a free, I think, goat milk cleanser with a certain amount. So I purchased two more of the delicate cleansers with you know and I got that free goat milk cleanser which I'd used before and enjoyed and um, I haven't repurchased the serum yet but I might do that during the the anniversary sale but I was happy to save quite a bit on the actual cream okay last things here I have a couple fragrance items uh, one is the Ellis Brooklyn Rose Eau de Parfum this is a third of an ounce or 10 mil and that is what that looks like. Um, I saw they recently started carrying this brand at Ulta I believe. Okay so I just have this towel here then I'll give it a little spritz too. can't remember if I've smelled this in store before or not. So I don't know what the actual notes on this are supposed to be. It smells almost like a greener rose, maybe. Let's see. I like a good rose scent, and I also like that this is a spray rather than a roller ball. So this is musk, patchouli, peony, and rhubarb. It says, true to the flower, Lux fragrance sparkles with petals of centifolia roses and Sicilian lemon above a seductive base of spring musk and cashmere woods. 
I thought this was interesting as well. It says it's inspired by Marcel Duchamp's feminine alter ego, Rose so I, I don't know how you say that. Here's a delicate but lusty ode to the author, artist, and provocateur. All right, give this a little bit of a spray on the old arm here. It needs to dry down. All right, while that is drying down, uh, I also got this little set by Rosie Jane. And um, I don't, did I tell you how much I paid? The Ellis Brooklyn, that was $6. So I didn't think you could beat that. I think it's 30 at Sephora right now. Uh, and this was, this Rosie Jane set was 12, which I thought was also a good price. These are, these might be roller balls, but they're kind of small, so I'm not too mad at it. Um, this has five little fragrances. It has uh, Lila Lou, which is pear, jasmine, and fresh cut grass. Tilly, which is coconut, gardenia, and grapefruit. James, which is fig, amber, and gardenia. Rosie, which is nude musk and a hint of rose. And then Angie is honeysuckle, fig, and jasmine. So, those are what they look like. Cute little box. This would also make like a good little Christmas present. I think they're doing another boxy pop-up before the holidays. Uh, so this is rosy. And let's, just as we're comparing rose scents. This smells like a much kind of brighter rose, I think. I like that one. I think with the other one, like the rose is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more of like the patchouli and lemon and musk. Hmm. Well, anyway, <laughs> I, I think I got a good little collection of things. Part of the fun is, is the hunt and making sure that you're signed on at the right time on the website. I know some people might find that frustrating, but I don't know. To me, it can be kind of exciting to see what you might you might discover. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got in my FabFitFun box and in the Boxy pop-up store. Uh, let me know if you got any of the same items or if any of the items look interesting to you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.